aiming for a huge breakthrough. We all know that the urgency of action on climate change is such that we can't just marginally and incrementally make small improvements to policy around the world and the level of action around the world. We need big breakthroughs regarding policy action commitment, all of that. So as you facilitate, aim for the groups that you work with to have a major breakthrough in their capacity to work for a better future, aim towards the high leverage actions and so on. So how do you do that? Well, I'm gonna tell you a story about one of my experiences with En-ROADS and then reflect a bit about what it's revealing to me about how to aim for big breakthroughs. All right, so one time I was with a corporation and a group of about 20 people in a workshop using En-ROADS. And there was one guy, Bill, who was particularly vocal and asking lots of tough questions. He was saying this about CCS and he didn't like that about how I was showing wind and solar and this about population. And I was answering the questions, but it was a bit of a tennis match. He'd ask them and then I asked it back. And then he was kind of just, as we got through more policies and the temperature came from 3.6 to 3.4 and 3.3, 3.1, 3.2.8, he was gesticulating more and getting more into it. And it was just going on and on. And as I was in this tennis match with him, I was thinking something more is going on. How do I bring this forward? And eventually I, I said, Bill, I'm, I'm just noticing I'm really, I'm really torn because you just asked a really legitimate question about natural gas and I want to answer it, but my brain keeps putting forward this question that I want to ask back over and over. And so I just can't pass it up anymore. I've just got to ask. I'm curious if maybe if others are, are, want to ask this as well, but it just keeps making me think, Bill, as you take in this climate challenge and what's being revealed with En-ROADS, what, what's coming up for you? What, what are you noticing? What's your experience of it all? And he kind of paused and sat back and looked at the side and he said, it just doesn't seem right that we would do all that stuff and it really doesn't help that much. And other people in the room who kind of had their shoulders forward or a little bit down, they all kind of let out this general just, and there's a air, a little oxygen in the room. And it was a moment when it felt like somebody had named what many people were thinking, certainly what he was thinking that was behind his questions that was what the group really needed to talk about. How are they handling the challenge of this moment and particular challenge of this complex system where you can do a lot and it doesn't get a whole lot better? How do we sit with that? How do we sit with that? It opened up some also topics about climate grief on their team that thinks about this issue and about the energy issue within their corporation. What they're doing, does it feel like it's enough or not? What are the easy things? What are the really hard things that they've thought about doing that they're not doing yet? And then a little bit more about what it would look like to raise the stakes and the, the ambition in their actions. It opened up a breakthrough for them that was really profound. It was so dear to me to be part of that because I think that's why we use En-ROADS in these workshops. The, the point is not the model. The model is a means to these kinds of breakthroughs for a wide range of groups. So what can we reflect upon? And I think what we're always looking for, and I'm asking you to look for the moment when somebody's actions reveal what it is that needs to be talked about that no one's talking about. See if you can notice it, and it's often a skeptical person asking tough questions. It is a person having a strong emotional reaction to something that can look like kind of a grief or a, a sadness. It can be someone who's using humor 
a little more than necessary to cover up something, look for the moments. Now, once you see the moment, the art of it is how to name it and open it up for discussion so that you can go there. What I find and what I encourage you to use is deep transparency about what you're noticing, what you're experiencing, and the thoughts that are coming up and your curiosities about those thoughts. I told you the story before. I talked about like, well, I thought of this. I want to do that. I'm just kind of stuck, everybody. And you can ask for help. Like, I'm thinking that this isn't about natural gas. There is something else. And I could be wrong. You can tell me if I'm wrong. And by the way, sometimes you are wrong. You can bring this up and someone says, no, <laughs> I was really just asking about natural gas is what Bill could say. I just want to know. That's fine. But use transparency about what you're noticing, experiencing to bring it forward, ask for help and see if you're right with your intuition and there's something else the group can really talk about that's necessary. All right. That is a way to think about noticing and bringing forward important conversations as a way to aim for a huge breakthrough. Go get them.